What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel, Faithful Game. What is up? Who is the Faithful Game? Anybody that subscribed. But if you want to be a member member, you need to make sure that you liking, commenting, and telling all your friends we got the juice on this channel. Listen, you ain't got to get jumped in or nothing. You need to join. Subscribe to my channel. And you want to know why? Because at this point, we're either at a thousand followers or damn near. At this point, when I'm making this video, I am less than 100 subscribers from 1K. Like y'all, I thought I would never do it. Like, who? some of y'all faithful gang. Some of y'all been riding with me from the beginning. Some of y'all, some of y'all, which one of y'all? Which one of y'all gonna win, okay? Y'all need to make sure that y'all are commenting, liking, sharing. Y'all gonna be winning and getting picked for the most random reason. We're gonna have like, enter to win. We're gonna have who left the best comment. We're gonna have, and it's gonna be random. I probably read one of your comments or remember a comment that you wrote from a while ago and be like, you know what? <laughs> Blessings. Just blessing people because y'all have blessed me just with your subscriptions and you don't know what subscribing to my channel does for me. Without further ado, this video is going to be something a little bit different this is a haul but this is a random unboxing all right and i'm gonna show you exactly what i mean this is for the thumbnail crazy thing about it Here's the box that we're gonna be unboxing. You like how I did that? <laughs> some of y'all do, some of y'all don't. It's all about anticipation. Never show him the- So, in this video, we are going to be unboxing stuff, random stuff, okay? This video, I couldn't really say this was a Amazon haul. I couldn't say this was a Walmart haul. I couldn't say it was a ebay haul because it's all of them in one so it's just a random haul of some things that i bought that i want to share with y'all let's go so first i got this and i am going to use this tomorrow like when i clock in to work tomorrow because um if y'all don't know a lot has changed and i'm probably gonna use the next video to do a life update video so y'all make sure y'all subscribe or have your bell notification on because that that's gonna be the story time of my life so make sure y'all are subscribed all right so i work from home so i think that tomorrow when i clock in i'm gonna run me a foot bath and i'm gonna soak i'm gonna soak my feet i think i'm gonna use this as a um thumbnail as well so this right here is the dr teal's body scrub and i would suggest this if after you take a shower you get out and you're still musty now let's face it it happens okay sometimes not not now used to before i started using body scrubs i be noticing that sometimes it don't matter how hard i washed with my towel like if i don't use a loofah I'm still musty when I get out. This scrub, or a lot of scrubs, but I like this one in particular, or the Dove scrub with the blue top. That's one of my favorites. So yeah, and basically it smells so good. It look like that. And you just, also, you gotta try to keep the hair from under your arm shaved. I wouldn't say shaved, cause I don't shave under my arms. For some reason, whenever I shave under my arms, I get ingrown hairs. So I would say use Nair. A lot of people say that Nair don't work for them, but I promise you, that's because you left it on way too long. You left it on too long. Cause Nair don't really burn skin and they have all different kinds. They have sensitive skin kind, like Nair don't really burn skin for real unless your skin is super, super sensitive, you should try it again and make sure you set a timer and you don't exceed the recommended time that they say. And don't, it be saying don't exceed 10 minutes and some of y'all keep it on and set a timer for 10 minutes 
and then you start to wipe it off like okay obviously you're going into 11 or 12 minutes so you want to make sure that you're doing like seven to eight minutes that's just my suggestion and i got those at walmart and another thing that i got at walmart is this this bag is so freaking cute today i noticed it said madden in, in <laughs> madden nyc like is this knock off steve madden knock off steve madden because who the hell is madden nyc no but this purse is cute as heck and i guess it opens from this way bro this purse is so freaking cute and it got this little wallet thing on it i cannot wait to wear this like the tiktok shop the tiktok shop has finally got me okay i never thought that it was safe to order anything from the tiktok shop but i recently did and let me show you what i got this is that viral whitening kit i'm excited to see if it works i don't know when i'm going to use it because i recently joined the smile direct club some of y'all are like what the hell are you doing in that club because y'all will look at my teeth and be like it doesn't look like you need those but me personally i don't really like my teeth that part of my smile bothers me it makes me feel like i got a missing sad tooth and i don't like I have all my side teeth, guys. Like, I am one in a million for real. But I don't like this canine tooth. And some people think that's insecure, like overly insecure. Okay, let's just be real. I'm glad my shit don't look like hers. I don't like my bottom teeth either. Cause they're not like exactly straight. It could always be worse. So when you start getting real overly insecure, you definitely should look at and be like, yeah, it could always be worse. But at the same time, why are you comparing yourself to what could be worse? Like, shouldn't you compare it to the best? And I want the best smile. I'm like, I am not doing myself no justice because low key, like, uh, see, I don't know. It could be it could be worse i'm not gonna lie part of me is scared to get the liners because well you know i spent so much money on these and then as some of y'all know this is my second grill because i have threw one in the trash so like these grills was expensive as hell like almost a thousand dollars and then now I'm finna go spend some money. And the reason why I got these grills, see, I got it specifically to cover that up because you can't see. But I never liked this top grill. So that's why y'all have never seen me use it. I really just started wearing it. It's giving veneers that's finna fall out. It's giving Steve Harvey. It's giving ghetto Lori Harvey. All right, what's up, y'all? So as you can see, I'm in totally different clothing. This is like five, seven days later. Uh, my phone died and I ran out of storage. I tried to film the rest of the video on Facebook and then just take the video from Facebook to here. But for some reason, the quality of the Facebook video, my lives don't never look that bad. Like it just wasn't working out. So if y'all was on Facebook that day, y'all seen the rest of the video, but yeah, the quality of it was trash. So here I am to show y'all the rest of the unboxing. I bought this next thing to go with these shoes that I left in Chicago. By the time y'all see this video, I'll probably be in Chicago. I wish I had the shoes to show y'all, but I'll make sure to post the picture. I don't know, y'all need to follow my Facebook, Faith Book. Also add me on Instagram, Hell Queen Faith. Also add me on TikTok. Might as well add me on everything. Whatever you on, that's what I'm on. I'm on what you on, baby. I totally forgot about eBay. 
Like, I was looking for this shirt and I typed it in. Actually, the exact shirt did come up, but I was like, okay, they had some other stuff that I thought was cute. So, but eBay, eBay had came up. So I'm like, damn, I forgot eBay was a thing. So I got this and I'm gonna put it on. The thing that I like about eBay, which I totally forgot about eBay, is like whatever the price is, I didn't pay full price for none of these things. Like, I definitely exercise my right to barter. day when I filmed this it was actually cute as hell with that electric blue skirt that I had on y'all was like why are you talking like that because I said it like 20 times but my I was getting tongue tied and then I just deleted it so y'all didn't see that part but that's why that's why I'm so aggressive okay now I'm tired of this shit that I work I'm at work right now I'm on break I can't even finish editing the video till I do this I'm tired of this man I can't eat I'm broke, nigga! I'm broke! It's a pink right there. It feels so good. It's cute. I'm not saying that. It, it, I don't even know like if th there's anywhere that you can buy this from. You know what I'm saying? This might be one of a kind, but it's super cute to wear it like this without no shirt under it. That's what I was basically trying to say. The other day, I had wore it with that electric blue skirt, and it was real cute. And I had like no t-shirt under it so it looked cute last but not least like do not sleep on ebay okay remember we used to be on ebay all the time like what happened that was like the youtube era too baby that's when we was on myspace okay and this shirt i got this custom made and it's funny because i be seeing people with this shirt and it's like, who had it first? Cause I literally got this shirt custom made and I picked this, this picture off the internet. Like, so it's crazy. So, I guess too, it's like a little crop, it's a little crappy. It's really not meant to have a t-shirt on because it's sheer in the back. And anybody that know me know I love me, but you know what I'm saying? One thing about it, when y'all wear a shirt like this, these turtlenecks and shirts that have like zippers that you zip all the way to the top, is not meant to be wore with your hair long. Fashion is fashion, but it's also like rules to fashion. And when you wear something high like this, your hair should be up because you know what I'm saying? You, you, you taking away from the this part if you got your hair down. Your hair should be up and off your neck if you got a turtleneck on or a zipper that go up high. So yeah, basically that's this. And like I said, I got it off eBay. I didn't pay full price. So if y'all don't know, eBay is definitely the way to go. That's it for this video. If you like this video, make sure you do so physically by smashing that thumbs up. Also, become a member, a member, member. You don't even gotta get jumped in or nothing. All you gotta do is subscribe, like, comment, and share to all your friends. Let them know we lit on this channel. We got the juice, baby. I love you, God loves you, and as always, we gonna see you in the next one.